Hey guys, my name's Gary. After the video from Adam about old books, uh, I thought I'd share what my dad had passed down for me. He was a machinist for 50 years, and he had some books in his toolboxes, and he gave me a couple of them, so I'm just going to share with y'all what I've got. And uh, so here it goes. First one is the same thing that Adam shared the other day. It's one of these Morse cutting, cutting tool books. A little handy guide. And uh, after I saw that that Adam had, that jogged my memory, and I remembered I had one just like it, but I've also got two others. These must have been parts of a set with their salespeople. I've got one called Machinist Guide for Carbide Tooling, also a machinist guide for taps. And, uh, good information in it. I don't look in these. I've got one of the Reader's Digest versions of Machinery's Handbooks, one of the real small little guides I use for most lookups if I don't have it on my phone and one of the apps there. But I uh, thought that was interesting when I went and looked and I found these other two that my dad had given me. So, they're all by Morse cutting tools, so something for other folks to look for out there. There's another one from Union, it's on end mills. One from Norton on surface grinding, you can see it's kind of scuffed up, so it was in my dad's toolbox for a long time. And I really don't understand this sticker down here. I'm guessing that Dixie must have been a company that supplied grinding wheels or maybe tools, but it says, for good service, whistle Dixie. And that's a sticker that's on the front of this booklet. And all the black and white photos and these things are really cool, like Adam pointed out. really fun to browse through them sometimes. I picked up a newer version of that Norton grinding book off of eBay, I think. And it's a little bit more up to date on this one, but still it's just cool black and white photos and a lot of good information in it. I'm in the middle of rehabilitating a Reed 2C surface grinder, and once I get that back up and running, I will be reading and referring to those booklets there. This is one of my favorite books, not because it's Machinery's Handbook, but it's my dad's Machinery's Handbook. He started in 1959, getting into the machinist trade, and you can see he's got his last name, and he put September 1959 in front of it when he got it, and uh, it was in his toolbox for all those years. Uh, I had a question one day after my dad had given me this about something I was doing and I couldn't find the answer to it and he came over to my shop and I was telling him about the problem that I had and the question and I told him I couldn't find it in the machinery's handbook the answer I was looking for and I kid you not he took this book and he did like this he opened it up and about two thirds down the page he pointed with his finger and said there's your answer now he didn't go by a tab or anything else but it was like one of those card tricks or parlor tricks that the magician does to where he just flipped it open and pointed, and he was right. There was the answer I was looking for. After I'd been through it, I'd spent, I know, over an hour trying to look up by turns and words, and I never could find my answer on my own. But he definitely knew where the answers were at in this book and still does. So that was one of those once-in-a-lifetime moments that, kind of leaves your jaw drop down when somebody does that to you. I do have the exact same book that Adam has, uh, this Technology of Machine Tools by McGraw-Hill. I don't have any idea where I picked this up, and I don't remember even how long ago I picked it up, but I've had it for a while, and it is cool to have these old books to thumb through from time to time. 
and just like some of the videos on YouTube and some of the pages on the internet uh, daily basis you don't look at them but every once in a while when you do browse through you'll pick up bits and pieces here's another one I've got and this one is kind of strange to me because picture on the front of this it looks like either a bobblehead or a Pez candy dispenser with some guy's head on it with a hard hat on and it's part of either a tool post or a, a compound and I just don't understand that picture of where that came from there but it's just kind of funny looking to me but this one's another nice old book that's got a lot of stuff in it with a lot of pictures and they're fun to go through. So one other thing to share with you, and that's the uh, box of training materials my dad actually took a course on from international correspondence schools. Evidently the second shop he worked at, which was Luftex Machine Tools in Lufkin, Texas, paid for him to take the courses through international correspondence. And uh, I've got all of his course books and all of his tests. And I'm going to show those to you give you a sample of what was in with that because it was pretty comprehensive and this was back in the early 60s when he took this course and I know it took him a couple of three years at least to go through and finish that let me get the box up here so this is the box as I received it from my dad and it had been in the storage building for many, many years. And uh, I kind of left it just the way it was and moved it to a newer box. So, kind of keeping the patina. You can see it just the way it came to me. So, you had a little protective newspaper over the top of it. A lot of dust on it. Inside, there's uh, all the portion material. There's a lot, of, a lot of the black and white photos from the other books of that time period. They would send him out these booklets, and he would have to study the booklets, and then there would be a, a test that he would have to fill in the answers to, and mail them back in. They would be graded and mailed back, and they were actually mailed back to the machine shop foreman over there, and they didn't come actually to my dad, they actually came back to the machine shop after they were graded. But a lot of really nice material in these old books. I haven't seen these anywhere. I'm sure they're like the other people that have them in their attic somewhere and forgot about them. Some of them were probably just discarded over the years. But there's a lot of good stuff in here. covered actually from the basics right up through the most technical stuff that you could imagine in the course material. It was real it was real information. It was not a like you see one of these bio diploma type of deals that you see on the internet now. Back then you really had to put the work in and you actually had to study.
series on some of the different topics. that was sent back. You can see here it was actually mailed back to the machine shop for me. He actually had to write out the answer. There was not a multiple choice option on those other tests. You actually had to write out your answers. As you can see it was not a, a yes no multiple choice to any of it. booklet that, that was in with that box, and I'm not sure if this was sent out by International Correspondence School or not, or if it was just something that came into the shop, but it shows it was re received on February 19th of 1962, and received at Luftex Machine Products Company, where it worked at. But this uh, Houghton line, evidently that was a, a lube and coolant manufacturer. I'm not sure if they're still around. I haven't looked. There's little bitty short one or two page informative articles in here, kind of like a small magazine. And they also have some advertising in here. And one of the products, again, I haven't looked to see if it's still on the market or not. Veto. Pump rust preventatives, rust veto for general industrial, and cosmoline for government specs. Can we ask for literature? That evidently was a, a monthly uh, magazine that came from that company. That was in this box with all my dad's stuff. And there's, you can look over here, all of these are all of the tests that were returned back grading on my dad's coursework, so all of that's still here. Uh, just very interesting that he kept it and passed it on to me. I enjoy looking at it every once in a while, but again, it's kind of old school stuff, having actual books that people studied in the past, and other things computerized and on the internet. But I just wanted to share that with everybody after Adam was good enough to share some of his old stuff. And want to give a shout out to Tom Lipton, Keith Benner, Keith Rucker, a few of the other guys that I watch on YouTube. I enjoy everything y'all do and uh, look forward to seeing some more of y'all stuff. And I'll share some of my stuff that either I've accumulated or my dad passed on to me. And uh, see y'all on down the road.